all right, I just had a student in my statistics class say, hey, when I drag date down to rows, oh no, it does not group into month and year. Now there's a few things that can cause this. The first one is you want to check File, Options. Go over to Data, and if that is checked, that disables automatic grouping, you want to uncheck it. But that wasn't checked, so that's not the problem. Let's go look at our data on P14, and there's the visual cue. These dates are text. And when you have a date column, and in this case, they're all text, but in a date column, even if you have one text date, grouping feature doesn't work. Now, this came from Power Query, so we come over and double click our query. There's the visual cue. I can see I don't have an add data type step. Click on the first column, hold shift, click the last column transform, I'm going to detect data types. I'm going to make sure that they're all correct. And sure enough, bam, there's that beautiful right default alignment. I can see the data type there. Home. This has already been loaded, so I just click Close and Load. And there it is. Default alignment is looking good. Come back over here, uncheck date. And now I'm going to check what? It doesn't work. That's because every time you create a pivot table, it takes the data and stores it in a pivot table cache. So I need to right click. And now I'm refreshing so the data I just loaded to the worksheet through Power Query can come back into the pivot table cache. And now after refreshing, I simply check, and there we go. I don't need quarters, I don't need date. Right click, expand entire field. And now the grouping feature is working. All right, here's bonus number one. If you want to ungroup, right click, ungroup. Then you can right click and group to begin with. We only want months and years, but also notice if you have a time column with time marks from purchases at a website, you could group by hours and count how many transactions per hour. But that's what we want. Click OK. Now we only have months and years in our pivot table field list. Here's bonus number two. Instead of loading to the worksheet, if you're never going to need this in the worksheet to sort, filter, or do whatever, and you're just making a pivot table, let's close and load, close and load two. And we're not going to load it to a table. We're going to load it directly to the pivot table cache. That means later when we edit the query, we just load it, and then the pivot table doesn't need a refresh because it gets the new data. Click OK, and now the new query results are loaded to the pivot table cache. 